Okay, second year. Um, welcome to the next video on multiplying out brackets. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at multiplying out two brackets or a pair of brackets. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on the skill involved here. Okay, what are we actually doing? So if we look at a really simple example like this one, which we're very good at already, what we're actually doing is we're multiplying the 2 by the x, then the 2 by the 7. And I don't want you to copy this bit, by the way, if you don't want to. We've got examples coming up next that you can copy down in this section of the video. I'm just explaining the concept to you, okay? So you can just watch very carefully, rewind it if you're not sure, and, and make sure you really get this wee bit, okay? Now, so what we're actually doing here as a skill is we're doing 2 times the x, which gives us 2x, and then we're doing 2 times the 7, which gives us 14. And as we know, that's our answer. Now we move that up a level, right, and we look at a pair of brackets. We're doing the exact same thing. So, what we're doing is, we are multiplying the x by this bracket, then we're multiplying the 4 by this bracket. So it's the exact same skill, see? Okay, so 2 by the x, 2 by the 7, x by this bracket, 4 by that bracket. So it's the same skill. Now, we've got a special way of writing this down, okay? And we do it like this. I'll show you, I'll use the colours to help illustrate what happens here, okay? So, we've got the x, and then we write down x plus 5, you don't have to use separate colours, I'm just using this to help you understand what's happening. Okay, and I call this split the first, repeat the second. Okay, now what that means is, is I've taken this bracket and I've split it, so I've put my x here and my 4 here, okay, and I've repeated the second bracket. Right, so I've done x times this bracket, which is x times this bracket, plus 4 times that bracket. Okay, so what we've done is we've split the first bracket up and we've repeated the second bracket. Now, all this gives us now is it's just two of these. Right? So all we're going to do is multiply out these two brackets. So we go x times x gives us x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 20. And then we simplify the expression that we're left with. Now we can't add x squared and x, but if you look in the middle here, there's a 5x and a 4x that we can add together. So that gives us x squared plus 9x plus 20. And that's the answer there. So if we go back over it again, we have split the first bracket, so the x goes here, 4 goes there, and repeated the second. And that's what you do for all of these. So remember, split the first repeat the second. Okay? We'll look at some examples. What I would like you to do just now is to copy these into your jotters, okay? And then we're going to go over them all individually. Now there's six this time, so there's more than usual. We want you to copy these down, so pause me just now, copy them down, and then we'll look at them individually in a wee second. Alright? Okay, so we're sticking to black this time, so no colour mixing. Alright, so we're going to split the first and repeat the second, right? So, if I write this down, we have x from here. Like so. Right? So, split the first and repeated the second. And then we're going to multiply out. So, x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Look, we've got 3x add 2x in the middle, which is going to give us x squared plus 5x plus 6. And I'll underline that in red, because the board's quite crowded today. Okay, so split the first, repeat the second. Nice easy one, because it's all positive signs, so you don't have to think about any negative signs there. Okay, and that's what we get. So really, the first line is the only bit that's new, so as long as you can remember to split the first and repeat the second, you can do this from this point from your previous knowledge of what we've already done. Right? Look at number two. This time we've got a negative sign, so we need to be a little bit careful. So, a good way to write these down if you're unsure 
is to write down your repeating bracket twice, like that, and then you split your first bracket like that. Okay, so notice the sequence that I wrote those down, and if you're not sure, just wind me back, watch it again. Okay, so we've got x squared minus 4x plus 3x, and this time be careful, we've got plus 3 minus 4. Now in class we did some problem solving activities, some people are getting a little bit mixed up with their negatives, so just be very careful when you see a negative sign. And that's going to give us, if we multiply it, remember, negative 12. Alright, so, next x squared, we've got minus 4x plus 3x, gives us minus x, and minus 12 there. So again, a wee bit harder, right, than it was before. On to number 3, this time the negative sign comes first in the bracket. So again, I'll show you the sequence, it's quite easy to write these down. Like that, so I've actually messed up the sequence there. I should have written down x plus 6 twice and then written down my x and my negative 5. Okay, but once you get the hang of this, okay, once you've done, you've watched through these six examples, you'll be able to pick it up really, really quickly. Okay, so we have x squared plus 6x, and we've got minus 5 times x, so that's minus 5x. Now, we've got negative 5 times positive 6, so that gives us negative 30. So just be very careful with the negative signs. This is one of the areas in multiplied out brackets where people lose the most marks and trip up the most is when they have a negative sign inside or outside the bracket. So that should be a little warning sign for you straight away. So 6x minus 5x can simplify to give us just x. If you write 1x I don't mind but it's kind of considered to be like bad form. You would write x. Number four, we've got two negatives this time, okay, so we need to be extra careful. I'll try and get the sequence right this time. So we're going to write down our second bracket twice. Again, it doesn't matter what order you write these things in. Some people just find it easier to repeat the second one first and then write down their split bracket after that, okay? It's a really easy sequence. You'll get into it very, very quickly. So we have x squared, then we've got negative x, and then we've got minus 7x here. Minus 7 times minus 1 gives us plus 7. Okay, so again, be careful, right? So we're left with x squared minus x minus 7x gives us negative 8x and plus 7 comes at the end. Underline. The show we're finished, okay? And again, I apologise for crushing it in quite a lot, folks. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to Kind of rewind and, and see these things going again. Um, if it doesn't look that great in the video and you're not happy with it, we'll do a wee bit of feedback um, and we'll make sure that next time it's, it's, it's all good for you. Okay. A little bit different this time, we've got x plus 2 squared. All right. Now this is going to be our kind of starter for next time. Okay. So I'm going to do half of this example for you. Right. Um, I'm going to do the first little bit. So remember squared means times by itself, doesn't it? So that is going to be like that, okay? And you're going to do the rest for next day. So I want you to continue on from there, right? Now, if you want a point of reference for this, if you want a little clue, look at example one because it's almost exactly the same as this. And if you can follow through example one, I'm sure you can manage to follow through this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that with you for next day, all right? This one's a little bit more difficult. We have all letters this time, so we've got A and we've got B, okay, as well as having an X's. So I'll do the next line of this one. So we're going to split the first and repeat the second again. So we've got X, X plus B, plus A, then a bracket, X plus B, like so. And again, it's now up to you second year to continue that one for me. Now I understand that's very, very difficult. Okay? It's one of the most difficult examples we've done so far. If you can do it, then that's awesome. That's really, really good. Okay, but if you're not sure then that's okay. We can pick that one up next day. Alright, so I'm just leaving you a wee challenge at the end just to, to make sure you've got your thinking cap on throughout the videos. Alright? So again guys, 
make a copy of all these in your notes jotters. Okay, make sure you've got a really neat copy in your notes um, and make sure that everything on there that you get. Also remember to answer the quiz, which is should be over there, hopefully. Um, and and I'll see you all next day. Alright? So thanks very much for listening again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if it's too crushed and you're not too sure what's happening, please let me know tomorrow. We could all learn it together. Alright? So we'll see you tomorrow guys.